program is about to end because funding, the original funding that Congress allocated, the $14.2 billion, um, is finite. And so that funding is about to run out. Um, the program was created as part of the Infrastructure Act. And at that time, Congress saw fit to allocate $14.2 billion. I guess they underestimated how many households would take advantage of the benefit. And we are at this point now where 23 million households have enrolled in the two years since the program was created, but that funding is running out. And so in order to be good stewards of the program, the FCC um, has been encouraging Congress to allocate additional funding, um, but they also decided to pause enrollment um, in early February, February 7th actually, um, so that they could determine when, how much money they had left and when the benefit would end so they could appropriately notify um, households that are currently receiving the benefit. It's 23 million households. Um, that could be any number of people, depending on how many people live in a household. But what it means is that um, their ability to have internet service is in jeopardy, whether they never had internet service before this program or they were using this program to keep their um, internet bill at something that was within their household budget without this $30 subsidy or $75 if they live on qualifying tribal lands, their internet connectivity is in jeopardy. Um, we know how vital internet is to just daily life, um, whether you're using it for social and entertainment purposes, you're using it to go to school, using it to have meetings like this, if you work remotely like me. Um, so many aspects of our lives are online. Um, we learned that through the pandemic and to now have, be in a position where 23 million households that rely on this benefit could lose their connectivity or see a spike in their bills. Um, that's that's a challenge. It's a problem actually, spending. Um, so it has taken a while for this to sort of rise to the top of people's intention spans. Um, but I think given the introduction of the ACP Extension Act earlier this year, um, the increased support that we've seen both from um, members of Congress as well as the groundswell of um, sort of grassroots efforts, people calling their members of Congress and saying, I support this, I'm going to be impacted by it. Um, you know, we're optimistic that Congress will do the right thing and allocate additional funding at a minimum just to keep the program going through the end of 2024 while they figure out long-term solutions.